the heartland of North America. The Great Plains had millions of buffalo. Then hunters came and killed them. And left the Great Plains empty. The same thing happened in the polar seas of the Antarctic. Those ecosystems were dominated by the great baleen whales. But in the beginning of the 20th century, whaling ships arrived there and started hunting those animals, taking about two million of these huge creatures out of that ecosystem. They left the Antarctic Ocean almost empty of these great whales, just as empty as the Great Plains were of buffalo. But there was one baleen whale that wasn't hunted until recently. The minke whale, the smallest of the baleen whales, about the size of a big van, instead of a blue whale, which would be the size of a tractor trailer. And when the bigger whales were gone, hunters turned to the small minke whales and started taking them in increasing numbers in the 1980s. But in fact, some of the hunters of minke whales said that they were doing the Antarctic ecosystem a benefit by hunting them. They said that the emptying of the ecosystem of the great whales meant that the minke whales had increased in numbers far beyond what they usually were. And when the International Whaling Commission declared a moratorium on commercial whaling, minke whales in the Antarctic became the primary target for scientific whaling around the world. Nobody was around to count minke whales in the early 20th century. We have no idea how many there really were, but written into the DNA of minke whale populations is a record of that centuries ago population size. That record comes from DNA variation. When there are differences in the two chromosomes that an individual inherits from its mother and its father, those differences tell us how big the population was. The more differences there are between those chromosomes, the more variation there is in the population, and the bigger it's been over the centuries. By knowing the amount of genetic variation in the minke whale population in the Antarctic, we can estimate what the average population size has been over the centuries. How many minke whales are there now? The International Whaling Commission has an unofficial estimate of between three and 400,000 animals. Our estimate of how many Mickey whales there used to be in the Antarctic over a long period of time, the average was about 680,000 animals. Whale diplomats might hypothesize that minke whales have ballooned in abundance, but actually that's a scientific hypothesis that can and should be tested. You need to bring data to the table in order to test whether that particular idea is true or not. And then once it's tested, you can then build policy on that. Our results suggest that uh, minke whale populations haven't ballooned, that they've always been fairly large, and that the current abundance is, if anything, smaller than it used to be.